Welcome back. It's an issue that's tough to see, literally water problems. Often they go unnoticed until it's too late, but it's a problem that's getting worse across the country in big and even small cities with aging infrastructure. Our Joe St. George takes a closer look tonight at the issue and how the proposed infrastructure bill in Congress might help. To find out how serious this country's water problems are, come on in. It helps to speak with an engineer, and when it comes to reforming infrastructure, why not go to a town where it's literally in the name? Jonathan Bonner is in charge of water in Reform Alabama. So this is actually the well itself. Bonner, who's been an engineer for 37 years, is explaining to us the infrastructure crisis that's facing his town and cities across the country. It's in pretty rough shape right now. His problems going well beyond physical rust or the duct tape. The city recently filmed what it looks like underground. That crud isn't supposed to be there. And while it gets filtered out before it reaches homes, it's still a sign things are getting worse. They're relying on me. They're relying on the city to make sure this works in order to give them good, safe, clean drinking water. Recently, Bonners felt the pressure. In January, a car crashed into a hydrant, completely draining the town's water tank. Weeks later, cold weather created 21 separate leaks. Again, the town's water was gone. The worst issue may have been in October when this plant caught on fire. Bonner had to call the fire chief and actually tell him this. Y'all are either gonna have to stop putting water on your fire or the town's not going to have any water. What's happening here is happening across the U.S. The American Society of Civil Engineers estimates a water main break happens every two minutes somewhere in this country. In fact, so much treated water is lost every day through leaks and bad pipes. 9,000 swimming pools could be filled. At Sweet Tea's restaurant, customers telling us you don't appreciate water until it's gone. Some people here went weeks without bathing. The showers, cooking food, um, the children brushing their teeth, you know, simple things we take for granted. Water, a key part of the debate beginning to unfold in Washington. President Biden wants to raise corporate taxes, which many Republicans say is risky economically, to pay for infrastructure reform. He wants to spend $111 billion on fixing the country's water supply. The whole town was out of water. That is a debate reforms Mayor Melanie Davis will be paying attention to. She says her town doesn't have the money to fix this alone. That's another hiccup that we are facing, money. Uh, it's hard to find funds. As for Bonner, he'll keep doing what he can. Sadly, before we ended our interview, I showed him this hole and unknowingly exposed another problem. Thank you for noticing it. So what I've got is I've got, a, uh, I believe, a storm sewer has collapsed. In Reform, Alabama, I'm Joe St. George.